you see those sisters that walk around with their wigs looking like this i cannot stand them some of your wigs looking like this and then you now have the audacity to do it like this what's this dora the explorer what is this guys it's so easy to style your hair it's like literally have your wig looking from this Scraggy ass, dirty explorer ass. Why the hell did you buy the goddamn bob wig ass? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to show you how you can take your wig from this to you know, real quick. And it's just you just need a straightener, electricity, of course. Because sometimes I don't blame girls that walk around like this. Nobody should walk around with their wigs looking like this. Just it's too tacky, and I can't I can't sit and watch you embarrass sisterhood no not arms gonna help you okay come baby come see hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here holla my name is arms aka nos arms with the good vibes and if you've been a subscriber from day one you already know the vibes I love and appreciate you guys so much so basically guys I'm about to show you how to take your wig from this to what it's supposed to be because most times when I see people wearing bob wigs and they're not wearing it properly like this it just makes me want to fight I just want to fight you because I say girl you need to know how to package yourself properly it's not about buying the wig it's about the maintenance of the wig because the truth about it is if you have a wig and you're not styling it you will not maximize that wig you will not bring out the beauty of that wig all you'll be needing is a dome head with um a stand a wig tripod i feel like every girl should own that every girl every feminine girl should have a dome head wig tripod a um straightener a hair curler except you want to take your wigs to the salon all the time because you actually have to style your hairs to make it look good so you're going to apply a hair serum on your bob wig like you saw me applying it and then you're going to split your wig into two from the middle part if it's a closure wig but if, even if it's a frontal wig you can split it into two that just gives you control over the hair so you're going to be straightening your hair in bits so you cut out tiny bits and you straighten those parts first you can never achieve a very straightened bouncy bob wig if you're not straightening it in bits like this and that is why hbo styling is here for you in case you don't have the energy to do these things you can send them to the salon send them to me and i will help you do it because it takes a lot of patience actually to straighten your hair guys the thing about it is this is not just for bob wigs even your straight hairs this is how to straighten your hair properly so at the end of the day it's not just about buying a wig it's about maintaining it do you have the energy to maintain it do you know how to wash your hair because if you're going to be straightening out this hair now it has to be washed you cannot be applying heat on a on a way my Igbo accent sorry guys <laughs> So as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by by my Igbo accent um it's not about buying <laughs> guys the switch was just a bit difficult for me I'm sorry that's why I was laughing but like I was saying it's not about buying the wig it's actually about taking care of the wig styling the wig even if it's a curly hair you guys know i have a video on how to style your curly hair somewhere on my channel so you guys can actually like get used to this channel move around move around check my videos out so if you've watched this video to this point and you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do well to hit the subscribe button subscribe to my channel like this video share this video with anybody that you know that walks around with yeah bob wigs looking like um dora the explorer i mean dora the explorer i didn't even have tacky bob wigs i can't even remember but yeah like this video share with your friends let me know in the comment section if there are videos that you want me to film for you guys and i will be more than happy to do that for you guys so in my last video i was talking about self-love you know because 
the reason I'm bringing that up right now is that there is no way you you will love yourself and be moving around with your wig looking like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Self-love begins with you, honey. It begins with how you treat yourself, honey. It begins with how you present yourself to the world, honey. So anyways, we've made it to the front part of this wig. And this is how to make your your closure flat your closure has to be flat guys i promise you it has to be flat that is the only way it will look good after watching this video and i still see you walking around with puffy you know closures i won't be happy with you you have to partition your closures in bits as well and flatten you guys see what i'm doing this video has to be fast that's why you can't even see how much time i spend on each partition that I make I don't just do it and go I make sure it's good and I use my hot um, comb and I use my hot comb to flatten it as you can see I make sure I'm flattening it yes please that's how to do it guys please please I'm begging you please don't be walking around with your like you've already bought the hair and I'm sure you spent so much money buying the hair so why are you not rocking the hair this is how to rock your hair guys please <laughs> i have to beg you guys because i'm tired i'm tired next time i see any girl walking around with her bob wig looking like that you guys know what i'm talking about like that i'm going to try and attach that to the screen that i know you guys know what i'm talking about the next time I see it, it's going to be on site. We're going to fight. If I just see you, I will drop my bag. You will drop your own bag. And me and you will fight. Please. This is how to do it. You take your time and you style that hair. It costs a lot, honey. It costs a lot. So you take your time and you make it look good. Well, except you're sending it to me to style for you, then my doors are more than open. You guys know I'm open to styling your wigs for you, right? I do that for business. So, yeah, feel free to send your wigs to me. Check out my business page at Head is by Omar for hair care products, HBO extensions to buy this hair if you want something like this. Obviously not this one, but yeah, something like this. And HBO styling for styling purposes if you want your wig to be styled if you want your closure to be ventilated maybe your closure looks bad and you want to fix it we are here to fix things like that for you all i'm just saying in this video is if you're a feminine girl and you own wigs or you want to start buying wigs or you already own wigs and you don't have a hot comb uh, a straightener a dome head you don't even need a stand sometimes i mean you need a stand for convenience but you don't need a stand most times so you need these things to get your wigs alive this is a survival skill that every girl should know every girl should know how to take care of their wigs but yeah if you have money to spend and um, styling wig is really not your thing that's okay <laughs> you can always bring it to people like us to do for you but don't say us ums did not do anything good for you so this is how to get your any wig at all back alive don't forget that you need a hair serum you can buy any serum of your choice depending on your budget um you also need a heat protectant spray i didn't use that on this hair honestly but you can also buy that and that's how to get your wig snatched guys i always pay so much attention to the front part because i like my bob bobbing okay this is me just doing finishing touches the wig is ready good to go but i always like doing those finishing touches to make sure that you know my hair you know it's not it's not it's not it's not going to it's not going to go anywhere this is how this hair is going to be i don't know how to explain it and then i always like to wrap that up with um a hair wax and i like to put that on my brush and brush that down as you guys can see um yeah brush that down to make sure that there are no flyaway hairs i like to put it on a brush and this is how i like to do it and then i also go back in with my hot comb and press that down Pre mm, you guys the closure has to be flat there i don't know it has to be flat i'm telling you now from me to you girl to girl 
your closure has to be flat and your hairs have to be on point that's like one of the ways that you can be taken seriously i'm sorry to say but i'm just telling you the truth so yeah this is what this hair looks like at the end of the day i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this video was insightful i also like to spray some hair freeze and just lock 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 everything in make sure my hair is not flying anywhere if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do that and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye guys